Shit, I forgot about all these guys. I really only remember the arch vial. <laughs> oh god. No! Oh my god, I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't even save. Fuck. Why did I do so much damage? What's up, guys? Uh, it's Ugly Shoe here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Violence. Uh, I know that I said that I wasn't really going to upload again until I got my new computer, or my real computer back, um, but nobody knows when that's going to happen. I tried to call and get an update today, and uh, they pretty much said whenever they want to give it to me. I called my lawyer about it, but anyway. Um, this is uh this is violence um this is a four and a half map uh wad uh developed by ad79 and i don't really recall i know ad79's name but i don't remember any other wads that he may have made i think he made one called like 50 monsters and i think he also um did some reskins and stuff like that for uh some other doom wads but um, he's big on the Doom World forums, and unfortunately, I can't recall any other pieces of work off the top of my head. Um, this wad was developed. Uh, he says he says that he developed it just so people could sort of lay back and play Doom, and it is a very it's a more relaxing wad compared to the other ones we played. Um, I really like the edited color palette here. It looks like that he took all of the greens and. Uh, replace them with these purples and blues, which I don't know, it's easier on the eyes and it just makes the, the wad a little bit prettier. Um, and the wad is fairly recent. It was developed within the last few months, so. Let's get in here. Oh, this is attempt number three, by the way, because I keep dying from dumb things. So I should probably stop trying to play ballsy. And, you know, just play to complete it and <laughs> to get a good run. We have a shotgun around here, which will want to take the shotgun and jump into this teleporter, which will take us back here where we can get another shotgun. I think this wad was developed for co-op. I don't really think it was optimized for single player very well, but I mean, it's still doable though. So we're going to go around and kill the hitscan enemies first, because they can pick at you and do a lot of damage. And I'm lagging a little bit, but I mean, it's sort of inevitable at this point, and I don't want my mistake to sort of make my channel suffer, so I want to put out content regardless. And I really, really enjoy playing this wad. As I said, this is attempt number three, and usually I'd be pissed about that, but I actually like playing this wad a lot, so. It's just like, my movements are a lot more, like, clunky, and it's really hard because I'm constantly skipping frames and stuff. But, I don't know. It's doable. We could jump into this teleporter, turn to your right, kill him, hit that switch, jump down. A couple limps will show up. I'll open this up, and this is secret number one. Come over here and grab the chain gun. Upon grabbing the chain gun, a revenant will drop down. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I'm not having that again. And secret number two is that Berserk Pack over there, which we can actually get by shooting that as we fall down and grabbing that. Jump to the teleporter, and let's try not to die here again. I'm trying to think of, like, the easiest way to do this. I have a decent amount of- ow, you fuck. We have a decent amount of ammo, so... I think we're just gonna go right for him. That Revenant killed me last time. From some foo-foo lame shit. Nice! Good job! Good fucking job, Pinky. There was a fireball, or a Revenant rocket, I don't know where it went, but okay. That was awesome. Usually I let it all in fight out here, but... <laughs> Last time, when it was freaking playing, the Revenant Fireball, I shit you not, went around like 60 hitscan enemies and then hit me, and I died. The dumbest shit ever, but whatever. 
If I have to use a little, there's, I mean, there's ammo to spare in this map. It's not like I'm gonna be like really suffering. And I have a berserk pack now, so I've been in shittier scenarios. We'll say. Yes, definitely make sure you're killing. There's a couple enemies like that that are like up on cliffs. We gotta make sure they're all dead. Come over here. I should probably save my rockets for the end so I don't die again. Um, this map is very non-linear. Like, I always forget which ways to go because there's constant forks. And you can actually exit this map without collecting any keys, which I thought was kind of interesting. The thing is, though, like, the red key... Actually, there's only one key. It's the red key. Um... Grabbing it and going to the red door is actually a secret. See, we can actually go over there and exit the map, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to... We have to come up here, drop down into here, and that's secret number three. Let's not do that, and instead, let's use the chain gun. Uh, the red key is over there, but I just, I don't exactly remember. Yeah, there's other things I want to kill first, because I don't want other things to sneak up on me. I don't care, like, I'll kill this revenant with a freaking baby shotgun. On hitting that switch. Whoa! Forgot about him. That's actually the second time I forgot about him. Hitting that switch will. I make you supposed to teleport in. There we go. I think you actually have to step through that sector in there to bring him in. Alright, cool. So he's dead. And we can't really get anything over here yet because that's the red key area. But I do want to make sure I kill everything over here first. Because I don't know what I woke up. Hello. I did not know you guys are supposed to teleport in so quick. Ow, man. Why did that hurt so bad? I don't understand, like, the damage multipliers on monsters. I've been playing this game for how long now, and I still don't understand how it works. But that's a mega armor, and I'm going to take that because it's going to help a lot. Anyway, we're going to come back over here. Yes, over here. Upon walking over here, we'll have three make it by or two make it by Why did I say three? I apparently can't count today. Hit that switch, and that will let us access the red key. Now we can come over here and try not to die again. Hit that switch, run in, run out. And we're going to use the remainder of our rockets to try to take out the arch file. There we go. Yeah, he killed me last time. And yes, in here is a secret, so... And yeah, you do have to make sure that all the secrets do tag. And now we can get a super shotgun. I think that's kind of annoying, because I would have really liked the super shotgun earlier, but the map is playable without it, so I probably shouldn't complain too much. So now let's head towards the, uh, the exit area, if I can remember how to get there. Yeah, this way. Upon using this door. It's a trap. It gets really nasty down there, so if you are playing this co-op, um, yeah, try not to fuck your teammates there. Because you will pretty much die. Okay, now, in order to really open that door, we hit that switch. Ow. 
All right, and that's it for Excavations, which is map one of violence. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm really enjoying this WAD so far. Um, and I don't know, I just think the WAD looks nice. Um, I haven't really seen any WADs that use purples very much, except for one that was developed... Not, it wasn't Sunlust. It began with an S. It was developed by Wadakid. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, it was a star... something star, star something. I can't remember, but that one had a lot of purples in it too. Uh, I believe Valinian played a... Uh, uh, he played through that WAD. Uh, I actually helped with the playtesting of that, believe it or not, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that's it for map one of Violence. Um, very, very beautiful WAD so far, and I really, I actually can't wait to play the rest of it. So that's all for now, guys. I will see you all next time at map two, Sinkhole. Hopefully my computer will hold up. Take care, guys. Bye.